But on my path, I stumble upon something strange. Something that would put even my Land Rover to shame. At least in the snow. It is a snow track, a tracked vehicle that had its beginning in the late 50s, built in Sweden by a company called Active. It is a rare machine, a little over 2000 of these were made. But for me it also bring back some memories, because a couple of years ago I restored a beaten up snow track, what started out as a hopeless case of a sandblasted aluminum shell and a big pile of dissembled parts turned eventually into something that resembled its former glory. And I spent some hours bringing it back to life. It's a cool machine. They can go any anywhere. I wonder why it's stranded here. But it's a basic machine, easy to fix. It's a beetle engine in them. The snow tracks use several VW parts, like the engine and the transmission, but also other parts like shock absorbers, tail lights, and interior stuff, like the steering wheel and the gear selector. This uh, snow track is a later model from the 70s by the looks of it. It actually looks pretty complete. It's a, it's some broken glass, but that can be fixed. What's cool about these snow machines? Where is steering mechanism? Because it has a normal steering wheel, like in a road car, to turn the tracks. That was done by using a clever steering system called a variator. It's a shame it's just been left behind. But it's also very cool to find stuff like this out in the wild. I leave the snow track behind and head towards the waterfall 